February 18th. The Initiative Against Despair. Rise, let us be going. Matthew 26, 46. The disciples went to sleep when they should have kept awake, and when they realized what they had done, it produced despair. The sense of the irreparable is apt to make us despair, and we say, It's all up now. It is no use trying any more. If we imagine that this kind of despair is exceptional, we are mistaken. It is a very ordinary human experience. Whenever we realize that we have not done that which we had a magnificent opportunity of doing, then we are apt to sink into despair. And Jesus Christ comes and says, Sleep on now. That opportunity is lost forever. You cannot alter it. But arise and go to the next thing. Let the past sleep, but let it sleep on the bosom of Christ and go out into the irresistible future with Him. There are experiences like this in each of our lives. We are in despair, the despair that comes from actualities, and we cannot lift ourselves out of it. The disciples in this instance had done a downright unforgivable thing. They had gone to sleep instead of watching with Jesus. But he came with a spiritual initiative against their despair and said, Arise and do the next thing. If we are inspired of God, what is the next thing? To trust him absolutely and to pray on the ground of his redemption. Never let the sense of failure corrupt your new action.